you're welcome to Mindset Academy, where we want to solve this problem involving hyperbola. And the question goes like this. It says that using the locus method constructs an hyperbola whose directories to the focus is 40 millimeter and whose eccentricity is 5 is to 3. Right? Two keywords. It vertex is its focus is 40 millimeter away from the word from the directories. First of all, directories is a vertical line this way. Right? Directories is a vertical line. I will just take this and I will draw my vertical line this way. Paint line. Oh, I will just take in it. I want to. That is my directories, right? The line of the focus is in between the line perpendicular to the directories. So when I draw a line this way, paint line, I see that. Now my focus, this line is perpendicular to what to the directories, right? So the focus is forty millimeter away from the directories. So I should make this more visible. Now measure from this point zero, right, to what to four is forty millimeter. Is that the key? Forty what millimeter? I should make it more bold. Forty millimeter. That point is my focus now the keyword is i want to get what is called the vertex we know the eccentricity naturally for an hyperbola is three over two but in this case we are given another eccentricity saying five over what five over three so it means that we are going to divide the line in between the point between the directories and the focus into it because 5 ratio 3 means 5 plus 3, and that is 8. So you just draw a line from this point where this horizontal line meets the vertical line. Right? You draw at any given angle. Let's see from here to here. And you take any given radius and you measure from 0. This will be 1. This will be 2. This will be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and what? 8. Now you join the first point here using your line division method and the last point here, the last point on the line and the focus, right? Because you're div you dividing between the directories and the focus. So I'll just join here this way. This is the first one. And I believe you can still remember your line division method. If you cannot, you can click on this link at the top right corner here to take you to a page where you can watch and learn how to divide a line into equal parts, into three or more equal parts. So if I do this, I have this, go to the next one. this all right so this is what we have here now you start since we are told 5 is to 3 so the focus here will be 0 so the, the, the question is where will my vertex be my vertex will be on the fifth point on this line starting from the focus so here is 0 right here is 1 here is 2 here is 3 this is 4 this is 5 right 6 7 8 so this will be what the vertex on the fifth point so my vertex is here right this is what the vertex located on the fifth point of the division since we are told 5 is to 3 so on that point i am going to draw 
the vertical line on that point right or well, i might just leave it that way but i'll just draw a vertical line along that point paint line you can see that let me make it more visible for you to see right and i'll take my compass from the vertex to the focus and i'm going to mark up and also i'll mark down you can see that and i am going to take the line from this point let me name the point on the directories let me call it point o and i'm going to draw over a, a line passing through this point let me call it to be v1 and v2 right so i'll draw a line from o passing through v1 this way and i'll draw another line from o passing through v2 this way you can see that now after i've done that from the remaining point i'll draw a vertical line that will be parallel towards to the directories right so let me see this is the line that we have no line should pass here those faint lines also give me a kind of a guide right so I'll just come here and i'll start drawing on four i'll draw a vertical line from three i'll do the same thing from two I'll do the same thing from one. I'll do the same thing from zero. I'll do the same thing. You can see that I can continue if I want to. So, what I will now do now, I can move further if I want to. I can extend it from zero to the focus again. I can continue going. I'll keep going that way if I want to. Right? So let me just stop at that point. Then I'll just take this to the next point. Then this to the next point. I see that? Now what I will now do now will now be take your compass, place it from four, right? to this point where the v1 line intersect the vertical line here you can see that in that point you can see that and i'll go to the focus and i'm going to mark on that point for line four up and down on the line four you can see that then i'll come again from three I'll repeat the same thing. Take it up. You can see that. And I'll come and focus. And I'll mark on the line of three. Up and down. Right? I'll come on two. Take it up. Take it up to that line where it meets. The inclined line, you can see. Then I'll come on the focus. I will mark on three, on two, up and down. Right? Then I will also come on one. I'll do the same thing. I'll come on one, I'll do the same thing. You can see that? Now come on the focus. I'll mark on that line one, up and down right i can actually stop there or i can just continue i'll come to the next point to the focus here mark up and down right this is what let me just end here so all these points you're seeing all these points you're seeing i'm going to join them using my french curve right so how you use a French curve? Your reference point should be the vertex. And I'll just come here. 
and I'll place it in this manner from here right this is what we are talking about from this point because I will take this from the vertex here and take all those points you can see that I will take this three right right this is this and we want to draw this i'll just turn it this way again i'll do the other one Ensure it is tangent to that point. You can see that all well, those points are joining together. Then I can connect all this. And I'll come here to I'll do the same thing here too. This here. So this is what we we'll call an hyperbola having eccentricity of five ratio three. Is that okay? You should have in your mind that naturally, if we are not given an any eccentricity, eccentricity to a hyperbola is given as what three ratio two. If you are not given, but once you are given, it is what. 3 ratio 2. Once you're giving, you use the one you're giving, right? So, if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video.